I think that the, your character development in your mysteries, to me, is is upper level of the time one spends on character development rather than just the, the plots and the, the chases and, and those kind of things, which are excellent, too. I mean, I, I don't know if any of them have ever been made into TV or But movie. they sure should be. No, absolutely. absolutely. Any, any Hollywood producers out there who are watching this, you know. Absolutely. But but they are, I think you're, uh, I don't know, if, um, I, I, it must be intentional, but how, how does one decide how much time to spend on uh, the, making somebody a little more of a complicated person as opposed to just a almost cartoon-esque uh, action hero kind of thing? Well, when I decided I was going to write a mystery. I decided I was going to write my kind of mystery. And I was going to do everything with my mysteries that I wanted to do with the great American novel. And any good story really isn't about what happens. It's about who it happens to. So I knew I wanted to create characters that the reader would become emotionally involved in. And uh, because, you know, if if the reader doesn't care about your characters, then it's just an academic sort of question. What's going to happen? Who cares? But if they, if you if you have created characters that the readers invest their hearts in, then it's it's no longer academic. It becomes a very real emotional concern. What's going to happen in these folks? So I knew I I always knew that I wanted to um, to write as much a literary mystery as I yeah. possibly could. Well, you yeah. have you've done it. Well, you know, here's the thing. Mystery readers these days are very perceptive readers. They're intelligent people. And mystery readers really find mystery readers, and all mystery readers are really fine. <laughs> um, Particularly if they yeah. buy them at an independent local bookstore. There you go. It's <laughs> really an extra level of intelligence, I think. And, and moral responsibility, yeah, if you ask me. Uh, so mystery readers really expect mystery writers to give them everything that, they, that we think a, a literary author would, would deliver. So when we write mysteries these days, um, we're expected to uh, to create uh, complex, complicated characters involved in complex, complicated relationships, real characters. We're expected to uh, create a profound sense of place. We're expected to use powerful language in the telling of the story. We, we have to offer the reader dialogue that just sings. In addition to all of that, we have to create a puzzle that's complex enough to keep a reader guessing across the whole course of the story, yeah. and at the end, come together in a way that's not only logical, but emotionally satisfying as well. And that's a huge, uh, a huge task to set for yourself, which is why I love mystery, mystery writing so much, because it kind of hits on all cylinders for 